today we're in Cranford. We're doing a soil remediation here. We already got two loads out of here. So we extracted the samples already. Everything in this excavation is up to par. We checked everything with the PID, the subsurface evaluator is confident with, um, with sending these samples out. So we will be able to get the NFA letter as long as they all pass. Two loads are out. Uh, we have the trucks coming back. We're gonna fill it in with two loads. And then from here, you're gonna follow me. We're gonna be going over to uh, Lawrenceville where we have a soil investigation that's happening at 11 o'clock. So we'll run over there. I'll show you guys kind of how we do a soil investigation to see if it's leaking, how bad it leaked, or if, or if it's not leaking at all. But you can put stone, you know, make the driveway. So the trucks, because they're gonna, they're gonna demo the house. So, so the trucks can drive on it, Ricky. All right. Get her out the house. Get her out. So we made it from Cranford. We're down in Lawrenceville. Uh, we just wrapped up a soil investigation for a fixed price. What we did here was we delineated the area where the oil tank came from. The previous company removed this tank. There was corrosion holes. They called in a DEP case number. So what we came out here to do was to investigate that essentially. We wanted to see how far and how deep that contamination spread. And also we want to see the severity of groundwater was impacted. There's a lot of things we're looking for when we're doing this job. But the client was out here with us. He's very confident in the numbers that we provided to him. Soon be doing the cleanup over here so he can list the property and get it sold. 